you heard about WikiLeaks, um, but thought I'd give you guys a better idea of what they're actually about. Uh, they're a nonprofit and nonpartisan journalist organization started in 2006 in Iceland by Julian Assange, who was an Australian programmer and hacker um, that started working for the CIA in 2007 after he was busted hacking into it. Uh, database, and then since then he's been interested, and in, he's been an activist, and um, in uh, exposing federal documents, especially uh, secret and confidential documents. Um, he is facing sexual assault, uh, sexual assault allegations in Sweden, but has refused to set foot there, saying he runs the risk of extradition extradition to the United States, which he which he insists is an, is a um, uh, intent on charging him with espionage or other serious crimes for um, releasing all these uh, federal uh, secret documents. Um, he says that these charges are just a smear campaign against him, uh, but there's a lot of uh, information there that is really uh, relevant. Um, his IQ is likely that, um, even higher that of, of Stephen King, of Stephen Hawking, sorry. Um, Stephen Hawking's IQ is 160, and uh, um, Julian Assange is 170. So he's a genius, um, definitely even above the, the genius um, rate there. Um, even though he was at, he went to 30 different schools when he was a kid, he was also homeschooled, and he was a uh, university dropout. Um, just like many geniuses that uh, drop out of school like that. Um, in the past 10 years, he was a, as the director of WikiLeaks, he released seven, uh, 10 million secret documents. And their ultimate goal was to bring um, the important news and information to the public media. Um, high up government officials aren't happy with them. They've been called terrorists and uh, treasoners for leaking this information. Uh, like in their most recent leak, the Podesta emails, which are um, uh, linked to Hillary Clinton. Um, it exposes her secret emails that she did delete on a private server. And the uh, exposes as well that um, she had relationships with uh, multiple media corporations that she was bribing. Um, but it, it's, you have to really read into these kind of things and have the context to really understand a lot of these emails back and forth. So if you don't know about the Democratic Party, then it wouldn't make much sense. Um, uh, yeah, but because of, of that particular thing with the um, uh, media manipulation, there's another one as well um, where she, there's uh, records of her manipulating uh, votes in the Democratic nomination against Bernie Sanders. Um, so that led to the resignation of five of the most senior members of the Democratic Party after that because they were pretty much booted off the party because of embarrassment of being exposed as being corrupt in these, in these documents. Um, They've already released 10,000 of these emails, and they're ready to release 10 times that much in the next coming weeks. So this election is going to be pretty crazy. You should look out for WikiLeaks and what they're going to be coming up with here. Um, they are nonpartisan, which means that they're not associated or against any particular party, even though it kind of seems like they are with the Democratic Party right now. But it's, that is just coincidence with the election coming up. They've also covered um, Guantanamo Bay, um, like the Ethiopian accidents as well. There's some um, information about that. So they're not just about U.S. politics. Um, um, they've released more secret documents than all of the media combined. Um, even so much so that um, they even had the, the top banks of America coming after them, um, which are uh, MasterCard, Visa, Western Union, and Bank of America. They teamed up together and tried to choke down their funding by um, just kind of pushing them down by all the money that they have. And, uh, they took out 90%, 95% of their public funding, and now they were 100% um, funded by Bitcoin and crowdfunding, and they have been for eight years. Um, they're not associated with Wikipedia. Uh, Wiki just means it's an active readership that can post and submit files, not just the website holders, uh, just so you know that. Um, the entire organization is run online, only having one backup server with a physical location in a former nuclear bunker in Sweden. Uh, it's in Sweden because of um, Sweden's uh, really uh, lack internet laws, and it just protects internet privacy more than any other country. Um, that's why many torrent sites are based there, like Pirate Bay. Um, there is actually a disclaimer on their site when you click to submit um, any document, because you can submit anything from there. Um, and it tells you to remove any traces of you submitting that file by formatting and disposing of your computer afterwards. That's how high profile this information is, is that you literally need to destroy your computer that you use to upload this information because you will be put on a um, watch list. I'm probably going to watch this now because I've been doing research on this, but I wasn't uh, worried about it because it probably was before anyway, all my Illuminati research. <laughs> um, I lost my face here. 
Um, yeah, you can be charged with conspiracy or treason for, um, for uploading these files in certain countries. And China is actually punishable by death. Um, another thing about Arab Spring uh, that we talked about last week that I thought I would bring in with this is um, when Al Jazeera reported on a WikiLeaks document that pertained to the president of uh, Tunisia, uh, President Zain al Bedin Ben Ali, um, it, was, it exposed him as being corrupt in government, and that was one of the things that, uh, that got people so pissed off about um, protesting, and that's one of the main reasons that they shut off the internet in the first place, is so that they could not be accessing that information anymore. Um, they've been nominated, WikiLeaks, I mean, uh, they've been nominated for the UN Mandela Prize and nominations in six consecutive years to a Nobel Peace Prize. Um, there was a, the co-founder was assassinated in cold blood last week, and so was Julian Assange's lawyer. And uh, he hasn't been seen himself in a few weeks, so some people are inferring that he might be dead and also assassinated, and uh, that it's being covered up. So this all ties into big conspiracy theories across the entire globe, so... Um, Especially with this election coming up, try to, if you see anything relating to WikiLeaks, make sure you look into it, because it's going to be pretty crazy for that recently, for the next coming weeks at least. Um, that is it.